go. How I got here I cheat to lie To check my fate It's slightly harder than last year And all at once it gets Hard to take and it gets Hard to fake what I won't be What up? That was a crappy intro, but um, this is Born and Raised by uh, John Mayer, and luckily for um, those like beginner guitarists who are John Mayer fans, um, you know the pains of playing his songs like accurately. Um, I can't, I can't play like all of his songs. I can't play Neon. I tried, but you know it's hard. But Anyway, this album, Born and Raised, um, it's basically in the key of G. <laughs> and um, it's pretty simple. Um, and this song's simple too, so let's get right on to it. Alright. So, sorry if it's dark. Um, Alright, so the first uh, chord is a G. Alright, I'm going to teach you this in a um, simpler form of a G, a B minor, or whatever. Um, all right, so I'll teach you the first, uh, the the simpler form first, or I'll do that after. Okay, so um, this is kind of the harder form of the two. Um, so it goes with a G, G major seven. So um, you put your index on um, the B string of the third uh, third fret, and then your middle finger goes on the uh, B G string of the fourth fret, and then your ring finger goes on the D string of the 5th fret and then you put your thumb on the 3rd fret okay so it goes so the intro goes so he hammers on um, so he uses his pinky to hammer on in the 5th uh, um, fret of the G string so it goes so it goes Before he changes to the next chord, he hammers on again, so. And then he goes to a B minor, a regular B minor, so you bar, um, um, you, so you put your next finger on the, uh, so you bar the uh, second fret um, from the A string down, not the D string, I mean the E string, okay? So then um, your middle finger goes on the B string of the third fret, and then your ring finger goes on the D string of the fourth fret, so your form of B minor. All right, so it goes. So this is kind of a stretch. So like I said, this is the harder form of the two. So um, if you can reach it, then reach it. If you can't, then don't worry about it. Um, so this is a B minor, and then you hammer on using your pinky again to the fifth fret of the B string. So it goes. So he uses the same like um, he hammers on, and then he hammers on right before he transitions to the next uh, to the next chord. So yeah, you got that. And then the next chord is an F. So it basically is a G, but on the first fret. All right. So that's that. And then he hammers on with his uh, pinky on the uh, B string of the third fret. So it goes. And then after that, it's just a regular C. So you should all know a C. And the hammer-on is, um, he uses his uh, 
middle finger. So he goes um, C, and he releases it, and then he puts it back down. So it goes. So that is basically um, verse, and um, the verse you don't need to hammer on or anything. You just play the regular chords, and um, the chorus it goes E minor, and then G, and then C. But with the uh, with your um, pinky right on the uh, third fret of the E string, high E string. So it goes. And all at once it gets a heart to take and it gets a heart to pay I forgot the words, I forgot the words. But yeah, so basically that's it. So E minor, G, and C, all right? And then the bridge, it goes, um, this basically is, you don't have to sing this part, um, so it just goes, um, so it goes. That's that. Um, so the first chord of the um, the the bridge is a G. So you only play that G once, and then the progression you play three times is C. Oh, I'll show you anyway. All right. All right. So um, th this G is kind of different. This is kind of like a G sus or something, um, or a G seven. I don't know. But anyway, so you uh, use your pinky. Um, use your uh, middle finger and your pinky. So middle finger goes on the top E string and then of the third fret, and then the pinky goes on the low E string and the, I mean high E string of the uh, third fret. And then you use your uh, thing here too. You use your index finger to hammer on on the first fret of the B string. So it goes. So there's two counts. So it goes. Wait, shoot. So like one. And then you go into the C. So it goes C. And then this is somewhat of like a, uh, a B, a G with a B or an E minor 7. So it goes. Actually, no. I don't know what this is. A C sus 2. So yeah, so it goes C. That's that, right? And then you take out your uh, your ring finger and just put your middle finger, use these two. So um, your index stays there and then your middle finger goes on the A string of the second fret. And then you go into an A minor. And then you do that again two times, okay? So it goes, the bridge goes, goes. To, uh, this is a uh, D with an F sharp root. So you thumb your uh, second uh, finger there, okay? I mean your thumb on the second fret on the low E string. And um, that's basically it. And then you go back to the uh, verse 3. So it goes verse 1, chorus, verse 2, chorus, bridge, uh, verse 3. And chorus and I think that's the end um, so yeah that's basically it for that harder part 
um, the regular part is just a regular C, I mean G. So it just goes. And if you can't do a regular B minor 7 like this, um, a B minor 7, an, an alternate formation of B minor 7 is just uh, these three strings. So your index finger goes on the uh, second fret of the A string, and then your uh, uh, ring f uh, middle finger goes on the, the G string of the second fret, and then your ring finger goes on the third fret of the B string. So it goes. So it goes. Regular F, whatever you prefer. You prefer. All right. So that's that. All right. And then basically the chorus is the same: E minor, G, D. That's simple enough. And then, um, yeah. And then the bridge. That's it. Um, if you guys can't do like uh, the uh, bar chords or like this type of chord. So yeah, um, that's basically it. So I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope you guys uh, learned a little bit. But um, yeah, I'm going to record another uh, tutorial after this. I think it will be John Mayer's... I don't know. Whatever. I'll think of one. Later, guys.